cute. Yeah, and it's on the board too. And a cute angle, it's so cute. A cute angle is tiny. Okay, it's less than 90 degrees. 90 degrees is that angle that you can put a box in the corner. Does that look familiar? Okay, this is 90 degrees, that's straight up and down. An angle that the sun is at is always 90 or less. Okay, it can't be more than 90 because then the sun's on the other side, basically. The most direct or in front of something you could be is 90 degrees, okay, in this case. Does that make sense? If I'm standing right in front of Chloe, and we're just facing each other like this. This would be direct. I'm directly facing her. And I would call this a 90 degree angle for talking about the sun and earth. So it would be like this. This is where like the grass is. This is earth's surface. And this is the sun. Okay? Does that make sense? Sun shining down, directly down. If the sun is at an angle, Okay, and this is the ground. I won't draw the whole thing. The angle is going to be less than 90. Okay? We would also call that indirect. Remember how last week we talked about, or two weeks ago, we talked about standing in front of a fire or something that was a heat source? And standing right in front of it is the hottest. Standing off to the side or further away is not as hot and not as bright. It's the same thing with the sun. So we're gonna use our uh, sun lamps today. Okay, these are heat lamps. The room is at certain temperatures. So right now the room's at 67. So you're probably not gonna get a really cold place, but under the heat lamp, we would expect to get a what? Yeah, you don't have to guess a number, but yeah. <laughs> it would be warmer under the heat lamp, right? It would be warmer under the heat lamp. Okay, so I gave you some examples of where you could place them on the back board. The reason there's a square there is because, or like a rectangle, is because I found that some groups it's easier for us to tape onto a tray. So you're gonna take three thermometers and you're gonna tape them in three places under the light. If you put two very close together, they're probably gonna get similar numbers, okay? But you might wanna put one right underneath, one maybe to the side and one further away. Maybe it's not even at the under the light at all. Your choice, okay? This is what your table is gonna decide. Mark them one, two, and three, okay? Which one is angle one, which one's angle two? See, they say direct, indirect. Low angle is gonna be the, the darkest one, okay? So probably the one furthest away. Then you have to decide where you're putting them. You may want to reconsider where you're putting that. So think about it for a second. Chloe, do you have a question? One needs to be under the light. One has to be a little bit away, and one needs to be very far away. They don't need to all be on the tray. That's correct. I had suggested two on the tray and one off. If you have questions, please ask. This one. Happy to help. So we just write 70.
this is when you get your final temperature. Some of you don't, you don't know if you have final temperature yet, right? Say it went up 10 degrees. You want, all right, either an up arrow or a plus, okay? In, your, in that box that says total change. If it went down, use a down symbol or a minus symbol saying that it went down that amount, okay? Because change could be up or down, right? If I say the temperature changed, does that tell you whether it got warmer out or colder? No, I just said it changed. So you need to say which way it changed. Did it get warmer or did it get colder? You're not up to that part yet, but once we have our next number, you will be ready in two minutes. <laughs> 20 what? Yeah, use your units, right. So the difference is 20 degrees Celsius. So where then it says total change underneath, okay? She's gonna write 20 degrees Celsius. However, Isabel, did it go up 20 degrees or down 20 degrees? I don't know, it just changed 20 degrees. Okay, pause. I know, but how could I tell on this number, how could I write something that tells me it went up or down? One symbol I could write. Oh, like an arrow? You could do that, actually. But it went, it didn't go down though, it went up, right? Up 20. Thirty-six minus twenty-four. You could maybe you could do that in your head. I don't know. If you can't, write it out in the margin or on your paper on the back somewhere. So the difference is going to go in this total change box, and then you're writing whether it went up or down. It looks like all of your temperatures went up, so none of them should show downward. You guys have one more temperature we need to do. Mm -hmm. Right. So you would say yes. Why do you think that happened though? Why do you think one got way warmer, one got a little warmer, one didn't get warmer at all? Hint, hint, it has to do with the angle of our light and the close proximity to the light. 